Domestic violence is a complex issue, but research into domestic violence has identified several red flags associated with abusive relationships. One of those red flags is a power and control imbalance in the relationship. What that can look like is one person making all the rules and the other person having to abide by all the rules. So if you're in a relationship where someone has to tell you everything that you can and can't do, there's a good indicator there that there is a power imbalance in the relationship and you do not have equal footing in the decisions that are being made. It's not uncommon in abusive relationships for a perpetrator to prevent a survivor from having contact with family or friends and isolate them from their normal social group. It's also not uncommon in these relationships for the perpetrator to be managing the phone, getting into the phone without permission, wanting to know everything that's going on in a survivor's day-to-day -day life and controlling what she or he is able to do. Another part of this red flag is alcohol or substance abuse by the perpetrator. Perpetrators also may demonstrate extreme jealousy or stalking type behaviors. Another red flag is significant loss or change to a relationship. And that could look like anything from a job loss or perhaps loss of contact with a child that they have custody over. It can also be the addition of a new child through a pregnancy or stepchildren in the home. Perpetrators also may respond to a real or perceived loss of a relationship with a spouse or partner and continue unwanted communication with a partner, even to the point of violating protection orders. Another red flag is violence or threats of violence to a partner, their friends, children, and even animals. Perpetrators may also have a history of assaults outside of domestic violence. They also may have access to firearms and may have made threats with those firearms in the past. If you recognize any of these red flags in your relationship or the relationship of a friend, I urge you to take them seriously. Resources are available to help you at the Rose Andam Center, and you can access those resources without even having to speak to a police officer or file a police report. And if you feel like you're in danger, call or text 911.